conversation that's been happening on the internet because of a certain podcast that Mr. Sid got on and just publicly embarrassed his wife is the question of why some men will date women that they do not intend to marry. Ooh, and I think the, the point that stood out uh, was because um, some men view women as a placeholder. You're just there because you're convenient in that moment, in the moment when he's figuring himself out, he is trying to get his finances. He doesn't want to do this alone. He wants somebody to stick beside him, somebody to build with. And even movies, we have, we've had movies that have been made around this same topic of where a woman will discover too late that she was the placeholder when this man decides to, you know, split and just marry a whole new goddess. And you're like, Jesus Christ, after, after I held you down, after I stuck beside you, Kwani Hamku watch Empire, this baby girl, Cookie Lion, even went to prison because she was sticking beside her man. And when she comes out of prison, tell me this why, why this man has just a very beautiful, a brand new gorgeous, bling thing. Very shiny new woman by his side. When she just spent all her ears looking after this man we had jidena who actually came out and had a conversation about this and even issued an apology he said i would like to apologize to the women who i held back during their most fertile years because i was too immature to to tell them hey listen i don't i, I don't see this being long term but it was convenient for him to have them around. It suited his purpose and his goals for them to just stick around and build with him. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why some men don't get married to the women they're dating. Because, yeah, it, it was a placeholder. It was a temporary position. Damn. Mm -hmm. that, that one, I think, is the most painful one. Especially when you are not privy to it and it takes years and years and years. Mm. Prince Harry, let's mm -hmm. not forget, he was in a whole relationship for like seven plus years. Mm -hmm. Then met Meghan and one and a half years later, guess what? They two are hitched and they be happy too. Mm. Anyway, um, uh, in addition to that, I think, um, honestly, there is the fact, the mere fact that some relationships are just not meant to be marriage. And this is a reality that we need to just come to terms with. Like, mm -hmm. just grasp the reality that, yeah, not every relationship is supposed to be a marriage or is going to end up in marriage. And I think um, in my past, I really appreciated this one relationship because this particular person was only, um, was only around for, I think, about a year. Mm. So we had this conversation at the very beginning. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. We can date exclusively. We should date exclusively because I don't want you dating other people. However, I can only promise this one year. After that one year, I don't think I'm going to be able to do long term. Mm. And I'm very honest with myself as well. I can't date someone long, um, sorry, long distance, not long term, long distance. And so we had an agreement. We're like, yeah, let's have fun. Let's have a good life uh, for one year. And then after that, I guess everyone just goes their separate ways. And if we meet later on, then amazing. Mm. And I really did appreciate that because as a person who doesn't let go easily, well, me, I catch feelings mm. and I store them. I store them in a deep, deep, deep safe somewhere that it is very difficult for me to now climb out of that it will take me a long 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 time for me to do that so of course this person telling me that hey i can only do one year was very nice for me because then i know that i'm not going to attach too many emotions to this i will just have a good time i will love this person for this season and once the season has come to an end they will move on and i will move on and i really did appreciate that and i think that's an honesty that men need to afford women and also women need to afford men hey i can only do like a two-year relationship thing if it comes to the end of the two years and i just i don't think i would be able to give you any more than that it's really good because at least in my mind i know i'm not putting all my eggs in this stupid two-year basket i'm going to open up other baskets and keep them the lines open until my two years is done and then i continue to another relationship mm. so some relationships are just not meant to be married some relationships are seasonal some relationships are circumstantial some relationships are even you know um unfortunately um centered around something for example you guys met in a really bad situation like that story about the american nightmare where it was trauma bonding because this girl was kidnapped mm -hmm. 
And the person that she ended up uh, being with was also in a bad situation because in that kidnapping, they were both together. So imagine if you've gone through a really traumatic situation, like you were in a bomb or you were caught in a, I don't know, a kidnapping mm. or something unfortunate, like the passing of a, of a family member and you all just met during that time and you just needed someone to like be with you and hold you down during that time. They were just for that season. Now, allow for that season to come to an end and live a new one. Let this person go. So... Yeah, and I feel like before we even get further into this conversation, we just need to point out that women don't feel as if, you know, it's the sole achievement no. to get married. No. You know, I feel like marriage has been marketed uh, to this thing. The ultimate for women. end you know, goal. Yeah. You, it's a measure of success. Mm. You'll be so fulfilled once you get married. At this is what. 30. Not all women want to get married. Let's just put it out yep, there. Yep. Not all women want to get married. Not all uh, women want a uh, domesticated type of life. People want different things. So let's just have that in mind as we're having this conversation. Another uh, reason why it might take a hot minute or never for a man to actually pop the question is the people around him, Cha. the friends he, he keeps, the type of family he has. And let's be honest, when you're dating somebody and you meet them for the first time, maybe you, that, you met them off of a dating app or off of social media and you guys clicked and you had chemistry and he looks independent. He has a job, he's earning well, he has financial potential, he is good, he's respectful. Yani, he's making all the ticks, 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 ticks. And in your mind, you're just thinking this is a very uh, well put together man that I could see myself having a future in with. But the thing you've not factored in is the kind of friends he has. You know, and let's just be honest, if all of your friends are parambulators, you cannot be the exception because you are nine times out of ten the friends you are with you. Or maybe his family is like, I do not approve of you dating that girl. Of course, he's going to feel some type of pressure. There are very few who go against the norm and against their families and say, hey, listen, regardless of what you think, uh, I love this woman very much and I'm going to marry her. Yep, yep, yep. Very few. And those very few are the ones in the movies that, you know, when put your platform for a movie. So a lot of them will listen to their parents, will say it's not working out. But even if it's not working out and the parents don't approve, they will still hang on to you because they want to be with you. But at the same time, they're not making it serious because they don't want to go against their parents and their relatives and their mothers and their fathers. Kwanza mama's boy. If you do not win over that woman, trust me. You're not getting with her son. You're not getting married to... So you, you, you may just be... You're being pulled along. You're just there until my mother changes her behavior. Ama, they tell you, let's just wait a few more years until my father dies. And then we can get married. So you find yourself, you're always waiting for this man's father to die. You're always waiting for this man's grandfather to die. What, what kind of relationship is that? That's wild. Yeah, that's wild. That is really, really wild. I think there's another one where we have to also face the realities that um, some men can't take hints. Mm. Or it's a plan for like three years from now. Like they have no rush to get married. Mm. But you, on the other hand, you, you're just like, where, 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 where? Maybe after three months, if he does not propose, we are done. Mm. And... A lot of people um, tend to not understand that sometimes you just need a little bit of a nudge. And also, it depends on your man, though. It depends on your man. Mm -hmm. So try and analyze what kind of person is this. Is this a person who can take a hint? Is this a person who, you know, has good intentions, but they're not in a rush to, like, finalize things, which can then cause you to be wary. And then you're just, like, now feeling like, hey, me, I feel like I've been entrapped in this relationship. Seven years later, you all are still not married. I think it's important for a woman um because most times it's women who do want to get married um or even men but i'm just gonna say women um sometimes it's important for you to actually just m say it like actually you know i think i want to get married i think i want to get married within a year i think i want to get married within two years i think right now i get you're chasing this promotion you're chasing this da -da -da and da -da -da, but i think it's important for us to like solidify this because it would mean um mental stability for me it would mean clarity and peace for my for me for my heart for my mind i would feel at ease if i knew that we were married even as we are working and planning on getting all of these other things done 
uh, some guys just like are in no rush like they feel like they need to earn the billions of dollars or the billions of kenya shillings mm -hmm. before they actually do settle down and you really don't care about that you just want to be with them um for the rest of your lives so i think it's important as a woman if you feel like you want to get married to this person and they want to achieve this massive massive goals because they feel like this is what is stopping them from proposing just tell them babe it's not mm -hmm. it's really not that deep can we just like do this and then we will work on the other things as the years go by we will accumulate you will end up becoming a billionaire i will end up becoming a multi-millionaire but for now let's just let's just like put this thing together mm. Mm. and i think you know just defining the relationship very early yep. on when you get into that relationship please be please put up timelines say hey listen i am dating to get married i'm not dating for fun i am dating with the intention of getting married yeah i think so yeah and also another factor is very controversial which is moving in and living together because scientific proof has said that living together decreases the chances of getting married by 50 percent are you gonna go against science please can you stop packing your bags can you stay up but i also believe like sometimes living together kind of uh, is good. You, you get to know each other before you actually get married. However, scientific proof and psychologists actually warn women by saying that they should be careful about living together with their partners. And then they go on to say that after seven years of living together, cohabitating, the chances of getting married are at zero percent so be careful even as you're moving in just move in knowing uh this person might get too familiar they might get a bit comfortable they're like become why, roomies. yeah why, why do we need a ceremony when you're already doing this marriage thing already so yeah moving in could be the reason why they've not popped the question yet but i still do recommend that you live with each other for at least a few months mm -hmm. at, at the very least a few months before you get married and why do i say this people have random weird tendencies people have such People are people are individuals, and I can look prim and proper and curated when I meet you every other. We could be going out on dates every day, every week, mm -hmm. yeah. And you think you know me, but until you've lived with me, you probably don't. So I still recommend that people live together for a few. I don't mean seven years. I mean a few years, maybe a few months. And 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 for me, I think that works. Mm -hmm. um, and as a person who's actually married, and I did live with my partner for what? maybe two years towards three years guess what i still got married mm -hmm. it's really a personal thing True. if the guy wants to he's probably going to mm -hmm. yeah. but it, it all just trickles down to, to the person that. if they want to they will mm. if somebody loves you they'll show you if somebody likes you you will know so yeah just be on the lookout for such uh, kind of signs yeah be very clear and intentional about what you want in the relationship mm -hmm. or out of it um yeah and if it's marriage don't be afraid don't be say, don't say maybe i'll scare them into not wanting to be yeah. with me yeah and we have shiko from Zima, zimmerman who is tuned in saying good evening girls karen is a sadist that's just how i can describe her in one word she's referring to the whole uh, samido ide and karen yamu situation goes on to say anyway honestly i don't know what is happening but it looks like lately marriage institutions are under attack nikubaya hashtag talk that talk thursday yeah, we have seen a lot of breakups and divorces, but I feel like that's just because people are very quick to, quick to highlight and put a spotlight on all the breakups. Why don't we just do the opposite? Let's put a spotlight on all those marriages that are thriving, the relationships that are doing well, the no drama kind of thing. It, it, it's all, it trickles down to all of us. Yeah. What do we want to see? And that is what we're going to see. Yeah, and I think actually the energy that is being put out there about marriages is, is very scary because if you speak to anyone who is married, they're probably going to... Most. Of, let me tell you my experience. My experience has been such that every time... Uh, we're having a conversation with other women who are married mm -hmm. it will always be wow, wow, wow you shouldn't have got married if i were you i'd have continued having a long-term romance as opposed to getting married because whenever you get married things change especially when you have your child things will completely completely change mm -hmm. but i think uh, there's nothing wrong with change as long as it's not negative and moving with the times is very very important as well so i think this narrative of telling people how marriages are bad is also 
dissuading people from getting married, which is one, and number two is also causing issues within marriages. Because if this is all I see online, mm. I'm probably going to take some of this back home. And when I take some of this back home, guess what? I've brought fire to my own house. So I personally think we need a bit more of good messaging. It doesn't have to be that. The kind where people are being given burgundies and burberries every two days. I'm just saying like a happy, healthy marriage. There's nothing True. wrong with showing a happy, healthy marriage. If you are in one, please show some of that love so highlight that, that yes just mm -hmm. tell us things are not bad not every relationship is trash because truly and honestly not every relationship is trash true people are thriving they just don't want to tell you it's a secret it it's, really it's is. an illuminati secret <laughs> we're also trying not to get our men stolen but exactly. anyway <laughs> realities mm -hmm. people are happy it just depends on where you're looking yeah <sighs> that was such a tough conversation, but I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Teresa. This is Let's Talk, and I'll see you tomorrow. My name is Kathomi Kathomi. Happily married. See you tomorrow.